Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends. In today's video I want to take a look at the solo arena. Uh, it's something I've not done yet, but as you know, doing the story, you do win like an arena ticket at some In point. In the arena, you set aside your collection to battle using an army of cards you recruit. Use your arena ticket to enter your first arena. So, let's give it a try. Pick the class to play during this arena. So we've got Scout, Spell Sword, or Warrior. Um, I like this combination, so we'll go with the Scout. Presenting the Scout! Endurance overwhelms the enemy with sheer size and staying power. Okay. Pick a card to add to your deck. Hmm. Ah, uh, so it is like the arena in, uh, in Hearthstone. Summon shackle all enemy creatures in this lane. That's pretty powerful. Can attack an additional a two two with pilfer, or when you summon another orc, he gains one one. So we could go orc based. We could try orc based. Let's Pick see if it works. And continue picking until you've made your deck. Right. Uh, last gasp. Draw a card. That seems like something that can be pretty useful. We'll take that. Next up here, Lost Gospel Center 1 1 Skeleton. A 1 drop is good. 2 2 with Ward is really good as well. Guard Summon, gain plus 1, Max Magic. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll go with the Windkeeper here. Guard Regenerate can delay things. Summon plus 0 plus 2 and Guard if the top card of your deck is. Uh, which we have quite a bit of. Or Swamp Leviathan. And 8-8 eight, eight is pretty good to try and finish things off, of course. If they last too long. I just, I don't... Oh, it's 30 cards here. So we have to keep that in mind. Not 50 to 70. Like in the regular games. Um, it, it would be yet another 3 drop or 2 drop. So we'll risk the Leviathan as one of the big ones. This is an Orc. So that sounds pretty good. Decent as well, but yeah, we'll, we'll go with the orc on this one. We have another orc here for a four drop, the first one. So I think that makes sense. Draw cards. If it costs seven or more, reduce it by two. Hmm, that's not bad. So if it would draw this one, that would be pretty good. Or we could go for the orcs once again, but I'm not seeing that many buffs. So I'll actually go with a two drop here again. Uh, seven plus two plus two if a creature died this turn. Guard 7 plus 2 if there is a wounded enemy creature in this lane or 2 drop guards give an enemy creature minus could be used to kill something of course something small but I think we'll go with the 4 drop on this one just to try and keep the balance going after Elder Centaur attacks give it cover oh man that sounds good uh, support amulet when a friendly creature is destroyed gain 1 health Alright, or while you have 7 or more Max Magicka, Preserved of the Roots has plus 2, plus 2 and Guard. Hmm. Let's go for the 5 drop here. Sounds like it could be an interesting one. Arrow to the knee, shackle a creature and deal 1 damage to it. Summon, draw a card. If it costs, yeah, we'll take this one now. Definitely. Haunting Spirit, last gasp, give random... Oh man, we'll take that, I think. Or a 6-6 six, six guard is not bad, but this is something that needs to be dealt with. And it's pretty annoying if I if I can play some more small creatures here. Uh, action Prophecy, transform a creature into two shriveled. Hmm, don't like it that much. 3-4 guards, plus 2 plus 2 is a wounded enemy. Pretty good. Give a creature an extra attack this turn only. I think we'll go for the 4 drop. 3-4 with guard is pretty good. Ooh, all right. So we get Lucian Lachance. Lethal. When another friendly creature attacks and destroys creature, give plus two, plus two. Okay, not bad. Black Marsh Warden. At the end of your turn, summon a 1 1 Argonian recruit. If you have seven or more max magic, so 3 3 veteran. Good. I th think I prefer the Lethal or Thieves Den. Friendly creatures have plus one and pilfer. Can be good too. We'll, we'll take the uh, Lucian here. Could be good. Uh, two drop, three drop with Pilfer. Or Prophecy Pilfer 1 1. I think I'll basically go for the stats on this one. 
Uh, I like giant bat. One five charge is pretty good. Two one guard. It's, it is a one drop, uh, but I really do like the bat here. Um, his speaker, not bad. A bit more stats. One three guard draw a card. Hmm. Some card draw for a three drop or the his speaker. If I get this early game, this could be good. So we'll take this. Uh, summon, draw a card again. Guard summon, gain one mag. Hmm, that's not bad. Either. Or a delay, we'll, we'll take this for extra magic. Yeah, hopefully it comes soon enough. When you summon another creature, Savage gains one, one. Not sure I have that many of these. Summon. A zero four, that's not bad. Or silence a creature. I actually think we're strong enough early game to take this at some point. Prophecy drain, not bad. Guard seven, gain one max magicka. When your magicka increases, Thorn gains plus one plus zero. Or one four char pilfer, gain two magicka. I like all of these, honestly. Uh, we'll go with the five drop. Prophecy pill for 1-1. One, one. Again, last gasp draw a card, not bad. 3-3, three, three, plus 1, plus 1. And lethal if your top card is agility based. So, I think we already have one of these. I'll go with the second one. Card draw I think is important. Move another friendly creature. Mm. Yeah, we'll take Haunting Spirit again. This time we'll take... Just a one drop, just to be able to do so. Ooh, the two one we drain. You know, I do think that I want early game presence. Break through some one one for each friendly creep. Uh, all right, could be interesting. Last gasp, and summon a pan. Not bad, but I actually think my early game. I already have four four drops as well. I'm gonna risk the one drop just to have to be sure that we have something early game. Prophecy and lethal three two or six prophecy deal three damage and gain three health. Doesn't seem that useful. Elixir of vigor can be useful. It's yet another two drop or another three drop, which we have a lot of. If if the game lasts. Prophecy and lethal. I like it. I like it enough, I think. Uh, on your first turn, reduce cost to one. Very situational. Bill for 3-3. Three, three, or we'll take we'll take the 7-5 big body here to try and get things going. Heal a creature, then give it to plus one, plus one. Could be good. Prophecy and guard. Not bad to protect yourself. Or bill for three. So I'll take the stats on this one. Uh, we could go for another lethal. 4-8 with regenerate though. Looks good for another endgame card. Finish off. Destroy wounded creature. Summon 0-2 if the top cards. Or a 4 drop 5-3. We could try to finish off if we're in trouble later on. Shackle an enemy creature could be good. Prophecy and guard or 1-1 one, one with lethal for a 1 drop. That's something that can actually be very useful. Uh, especially in the shadow lane. So I'm actually going to go for the 1 drop with lethal. Move a friendly creature, draw a card. Not bad. Imperial armor, not bad either. 2-2 two, two with wards, not bad either. Move a friendly creature, draw a card. Not sure how that works actually. Uh, we have plenty of 3 drops. Maybe I'll just take the ward. I think it's actually not a bad one to grab, so I'll take it. Summon a slaughter fish in each lane. Five drop. Summon. If you have more health than your opponent, summon a random creature. From not bad, but this one though, when you summon another creature, give it zero two. Can't leave that behind. Nine enemies await you. Okay. The boss must be faced last. But you can take on the others in any order you choose. Pick an enemy to begin. Okay, interesting. So this is actually PvE, I think. Unless 
it's against players. I don't know how it works. So we'll take just one on the left here. And let's press play. We've got a special match for you today, citizens. Let the battle begin! So I'm up against the mad counter. I go first. This one's really good. Um, so we'll redraw this one. It's a four drop, unfortunately. Ah, that's nice. Uh, let's drop her right away. Let's see. Okay. Bit of a strange choice, but destroy a wounded creature. Die, sweet. So we could get rid of him. I just don't think it's worth it to go after that one now. So, all right. We'll switch it out. Prophecy, draw a card. Another zero one. And another card going up. All right. Your destruction oh, is at hand. That's more annoying. I'll be honest, that is more annoying. Uh, so we'll just put up this one, I think. Die, and we'll finish one off. Yeah. So next four drop. Uh, we could we could actually get that going. So we'll Die, take it. That's my cards. All right. Six drop. Give me something to do. And a three five. He's really going for it in this lane. But if I could get my when another friendly creature attacks and destroys a creature, give. Oh my god. We could. We could. We're, we're gonna do that combo. Praise to our we go. holy matron. And then we're gonna give him. Up. Up. Oh, so it's give the creature plus two plus two. All right, that's not bad. That'll need to be dealt with. And then here, we'll see what we can do. Die, um, Outlander. Okay. Transform a creature. A two-two with drain. Um, that gives me the opportunity to take the big guy out with hmm actually combined with this one we could have him survive that a bit as well so maybe it's better to put a couple bodies in play that normally he'll kill I can still survive one turn. Prophecy and lethal. Well, we'll take the lethal one. Or not. Finish off his two mana. Gotta remember that. Probably best to go with the lethal. Because it's hidden. And we're gonna go like this. Like this. And like this. Did give him two cards. He's going for the face. You it would seem. Oh, he doesn't have a choice. I wish that were the guard with little, but it's not. So I'm down to twelve. So that'll give me. Oh, well, that still gives me plus two, plus two. So that's okay. Um, let me think here. Gain one magicka. We actually need to start clearing this stuff. So that was lethal. Uh, that's an obvious trade. We'll do this. We'll put him in... S no, we won't. Yeah, we won't. Instead, we'll do this. And we can clear that. Gain some HP. Gains how much? Plus two. Oh man, that is so good. That is so good. <laughs> That's nuts. Three three. Change to a five five. Who did he like silence? 
fall before a night. What the hell was that? Okay, that was definitely annoying. Um, we do have finish off for that. Anything else that we can do? One one with lethal. No guards. So I think we have to grab the four health, finish him off. It's expensive, but I've got little choice. Goodbye. Oh, and he was silenced, so I don't even get the HP. Five left. We'll obviously put up a lethal in case. And then... Ah, my God. Big mistake. I could have played that one and, and given him 2-2. Two, two. But all right, we'll turn that one into a guard. Your reckoning is at the path is wide and clear. Die, sweet. Your death is my command. And this should be difficult to handle. Three two with prophecy. Okay. Kajit is a five clawed. What was that? Desperate conjuring. Sacrifice creatures. Some random creature that costs two more. Okay. When you summon another orc. That's not too big a deal. Do I have 11 damage? Yes, I do. Uh, so now once again, you need to do this cleverly. So you can have it not trigger the final prophecy. Like that. All right. And Each time you defeat an enemy, you will get to pick another card to add to your deck. Hmm, interesting. Uh, five, six, breakthrough and regenerate. Sounds pretty good. Last god, deal three damage to your opponent. Could be good as well. Or after Eldar Centaur attacks, give it cover. Good as well. We'll take the breakthrough with regenerate. Um, Night Predator. And then we the get more wins you get, the greater your prize becomes. Gotcha. And so, Another step closer to ultimate glory. And so it's meant to be PvE, I guess. Which is a little weird, but we'll see. Um, oh, of course, it's solo arena. That's why. And this will then unlock multiplayer arena, I think. So we'll try this one next. Let's take a look. Still have a little bit of time. Begin! I'm going first, uh, we'll get rid of you. Do I keep the tree minder? Gain one magic, yeah. Ah, I'll, I'll risk switching it out. Excellent. One, one with lethal. That's nice. Uh, is it worth it to drop it? Is it worth it to drop it? Maybe it is, you know, let's, I'm focused on early game anyways. Uh, if he works with guards, stuff like that, then uh, then we can still get rid of it. So that looks pretty good. Uh, two drops. Don't seem to want to come out. It's a prophecy. We can get the giant bat. Although I prefer to keep using that. Gain five health. And then a tutu with shackle. And man, if I could attack that with him, that would be pretty damn nice. So can I... I can put up a 2-1 with guards, which... Which should protect him. Ah, uh, they can still... Yeah, uh, the NPC will be smart enough, I think. Um, 1-3. Not too good either, actually. In this situation, my sword hand itches. Oh, sh she's a guard. Hmm. We'll we'll risk it to delay a bit because we're in trouble. Okay. Oh, big mistake from the NPC there. Not going for the lethal. Two, three with guards. Okay. That means we can... 
plus two. If there's a wounded enemy creature in the lane, makes too much sense not to do this, I think. Just follow the trail of blood. Yo! You are gone! Next we've got five. We could use this to try here, or we could use a combination to try and stop this side. So, okay. Alright. We are taking a beating. That's okay in my book. Forced to do that. That's good. So we can get rid of him. Give a random creature. Not bad. Actually needs to... Yeah, definitely not bad, actually. Or we could take the giant bat and the warden. Yeah, we'll... No, we'll... Go for this. Make your for this. Put this guy here. This day will be mine. Yeah. I think that's best. Oh. Pretty annoying, but that's still in play. So now we can actually do this. Stand to serve. Then get a buff the bat. Which gives me HP. Attack. Which, if that dies, Confound you. gives me a buff. We've got board presence. It's it's looking okay. Drawing a card. Okay. That's that's a strange power, but okay. Uh, a guard would be good. She's a guard. Two five. Gain one Magicka when your Magicka increases, gains one zero. So we'll do this. This to seven. We'll, we'll take these guys. Thank you. Two, three. Grab, grab some HP. He's got a Prophecy to play. That's okay. Confound you! Your death is my command. There we go. Be on your guard. Right, two four with guards. Three two, and he doesn't attack. But why did he gain one? It one. Oh, when I gain magic, yeah, every turn. That's nice. Um, so we can kill him. And claws. Still five. So that's your double trade. Uh, anything I can do to buff? No. I've never actually seen the pilfer mechanic. Uh, we will go like this. Go like this. Your death is my command. Confound you. Die, switch. Give me HP. Another three. There we go. Yeah, looks good. Looks pretty damn good. Plus zero three. That's Forward. okay. March. Right. As you can see, still had to trade. Still my turn. Um, let me see here. Confound Let's do that. Let's see what the pilfer does. Leave Not really place. sure. Oh my god! That is nuts. That actually gave him that in attack power. Holy crap. Uh, do I have enough? No, I actually don't have enough. But I can do... Oh, I can actually give something a 3-3. Tree -tree. Is that worth it? Or the speaker. Hmm. Oh, it's actually probably worth... Oh, I actually do have enough damage, right? 14 with this? Yeah, I actually do. Oh. My bad. Is my command. So, does that I buff something up? From these trees. Hmm, I lost her, I guess. That makes it for a three. And then a seven, which had not spotted. There we go. Yet another victory. Title earned. The captain. Cool.
Which will the challenger pick? Uh, imprisoned Death Lord. 7-7 seven, seven for 4. When an enemy creature is summoned, shackle. The imprisoned Death Lord. Hmm. Last gasp or summon shackle all enemy creatures in this lane. We're gonna go for the Death Lord, honestly. A 7-7 seven, seven for 4 mana. It's too good not to take. And that's a second. A challenger victory. triumphs! What challenge awaits next? Let's find out! But we'll see that one in the next one because we've been going for almost half an hour. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.